Did you know that millions of people worldwide suffer from hay fever each year? This global dilemma doesn't discriminate, affecting individuals of all ages and walks of life. Hay fever, also known as allergic rhinitis, is a widespread condition that can make days and nights a struggle for those who suffer from it. Think about it. The constant sneezing, the itchy eyes, the runny nose, and that feeling of always being under the weather. It's not just a physical discomfort, but it also takes a toll on people's emotional and mental well-being. It can affect one's performance at work, school, and even in day-to-day -day activities. Imagine having to deal with these symptoms for weeks, even months at a time. Now you might be thinking, well, there are treatments available, right? Yes, there are. Over-the-counter antihistamines, nasal sprays, and decongestants are commonly used to combat hay fever symptoms. But here's the catch. They often come with side effects. Drowsiness, dry mouth, blurred vision, and even nausea are some of the unwanted effects that these treatments can bring about. Not to mention some people may experience rebound symptoms when they stop using certain medicines. Moreover, it's not just the physical effects that we need to consider. The cost of these medicines can also put a strain on the pockets of those who need them regularly. It's a cycle that seems never-ending with hay fever sufferers constantly in search of relief. But what if there was another way? What if we could turn to nature for relief from this widespread condition? What if we told you there's a natural remedy for this pesky problem? The answer could lie in the humble nettle and alfalfa, two plants that have been used in traditional medicine for centuries. But we'll get to that in a bit. For now, let's sit back, take a deep, clear breath, and open our minds to the possibility of a world where hay fever doesn't have to be a perennial problem. A world where we can look forward to spring without the dread of pollen-induced allergies. What if we told you there's a natural remedy for this pesky problem? Meet nettle and alfalfa, two natural herbs that are known for their antihistamine properties. These green warriors have been used for centuries in traditional medicine, and now science is catching up to their potent potential. Nettle, also known as stinging nettle, is a plant with a bit of a reputation. It's known for its sting, but when dried and processed, it becomes a powerful ally against hay fever. Nettle contains natural compounds that help to reduce inflammation in the body. These compounds, known as flavonoids, work to stabilize the cells that release histamines. Histamines, as you may know, are what cause those pesky allergy symptoms like sneezing, itching, and a runny nose. Now, let's not forget about alfalfa. This humble plant is more than just a livestock feed. Alfalfa is packed with vitamins and nutrients, including vitamin C and quercetin. Vitamin C is a natural antihistamine, and quercetin is a flavonoid that works to stabilize mast cells, the cells in our bodies that release histamines. The beauty of these herbs lies not just in their antihistamine properties, but also in their safety profiles. Unlike some over-the-counter allergy medications, nettle and alfalfa have minimal side effects. Most people can take them without any issues. However, as with any herbal supplement, it's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional before starting a new regimen. Another advantage of these herbs is that they are easily accessible and affordable. You can find them in health food stores, online, or even grow them in your own backyard. The combination of nettle and alfalfa, with their potent antihistamine properties and safety profiles, make them a powerful duo in the fight against hay fever. They work together to help alleviate the symptoms of hay fever, providing natural relief for those suffering from this common ailment. But how do we consume these herbs for hay fever relief? Stay tuned. We'll delve into that in the next scene, detailing the step-by-step -step process of preparing these herbs and incorporating them into your daily routine. Welcome to our herbal kitchen, where we turn these powerful herbs into easy-to-take capsules. Today, we're going to transform nettle and alfalfa two potent natural remedies into a fine powder that can be encapsulated. The process is simple, straightforward, and can be done from the comfort of your home. First, let's talk about the tools we need. We'll need a pair of gloves to protect our hands, a good quality grinder or blender to pulverize the herbs, empty capsules to fill with the powder, and a capsule filling machine to make the process easier and more efficient. Now before we dive in, let's touch on safety. Always remember to handle the herbs with care. Nettles, for instance, have tiny hair-like structures that can sting if mishandled. Wearing gloves is a good way to keep safe. Also, make sure to clean all your tools thoroughly before and after use to avoid contamination. All right, let's get started. We'll begin with the nettle. Dry the leaves thoroughly, either by air drying or using a dehydrator. Once they're crisp and dry, put them in your grinder or blender and process until they become a fine powder. 
be sure to grind enough to fill your desired number of capsules. Next is the alfalfa. Just like with the nettle, dry the alfalfa leaves thoroughly until they're crisp. Then, put them in your grinder or blender and process until they're a fine powder. Now that we have our powders, it's time to fill the capsules. This is where our capsule filling machine comes in handy. First, separate the capsules into their two halves and place the larger half into the base of the capsule machine. Then, using a spoon or a spatula, gently fill each capsule with your herb powder. Don't pack it too tightly, you want to leave a little space at the top. Once all the capsules are filled, place the smaller half of the capsule on top and press down using the top part of the capsule machine. And voila, your capsules are ready. Remember, dosage will vary from person to person, so it's always a good idea to start small and gradually increase as needed. As with any natural remedy, it's important to listen to your body and adjust accordingly. And there you have it, your very own homemade hay fever remedy. With these easy to make capsules, you can harness the power of nettle and alfalfa to help combat those pesky pollen allergies. Not only are these capsules packed with natural goodness, but they also offer a cost-effective and eco-friendly alternative to over-the-counter medicines. So why not give it a try? Happy herbal healing! Nettle and alfalfa aren't the only herbs that can help with hay fever. There's a plethora of other herbal heroes and allergy allies that can come to your rescue. Take butterbur, for instance. This medicinal plant has been used for centuries to treat a variety of ailments. It's been known to block certain chemicals that trigger swelling in the nasal passages, making it a potent ally against hay fever. You can find butterbur in supplement form at health food stores. Then there's quercetin a naturally occurring bioflavonoid found in many fruits, vegetables, and grains. Known for its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, quercetin can also help to stabilize the cells that release histamine in the body, thus reducing allergic reactions. Another powerful herb is astragalus. This adaptogen, commonly used in traditional Chinese medicine, is known for its immune-boosting properties. It can help to increase the body's resistance to stress, making it a great ally in the fight against allergic reactions. Let's not forget about bromelain, an enzyme found in the stem and fruit of pineapples. Bromelain has been found to reduce swelling and inflammation in the nasal passages, providing relief from hay fever symptoms. Finally, there's Tinospora cordifolia, also known as guduchi. This Ayurvedic herb is known for its immune-boosting and anti-allergic properties. It can help to reduce the severity of hay fever symptoms, providing relief from itchy eyes, runny nose, and sneezing. These herbs can also be used for other types of allergies. For example, butterbur and bromelain can be effective against dust mite allergies, while astragalus and guduchi can help with food allergies. Quercetin, meanwhile, can help with everything from pet allergies to mold allergies. Of course, it's always important to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new supplement regimen. But don't be afraid to explore the power of plants in your quest for allergy relief. Remember, nature has a remedy for everything. We've come to the end of our herbal journey, but this is just the beginning. The world of natural remedies is vast and full of potential, waiting to be explored. Nettle, alfalfa, and the other herbal heroes we've discussed today are just a few examples of nature's bounty that can help us lead healthier lives. It's time we reconnect with nature and harness its power for our well-being. Remember, the benefits of using herbs for health issues go beyond mere symptom relief. They can improve overall health, boost immunity, and even prevent future ailments. The natural health movement is not just a trend, but a lifestyle. A lifestyle that respects and utilizes the wisdom of the earth. A lifestyle that empowers us to take charge of our health. Before we go, we have a small request. Please subscribe to our channel, leave a comment, and share this video with others. Together we can spread the word about the power of natural remedies. Thank you for watching.